First up today, we are reaching for the heights with one of the world's greatest climbers, Chris Sharma. Sport climbing is a style of rock climbing which relies on fixed anchors to eliminate the risk of falling. Its emphasis is on gymnastic ability, strength and endurance. One of the sport's leading lights over the last decade has been American Chris Sharma, who is always on the search for the toughest climbs around. I'm looking for these roots coming out of these big overhangs that just your fingertips and your toes are hanging on. Really small holds, sometimes just by one finger you're holding on. And that's always what's really inspired me and motivated me throughout the years, just to see how difficult I can push myself and yeah, see what's the hardest wall I can climb. It all started 16 years ago in Santa Cruz, California. After trying his hand at a variety of sports, Sharma was to settle on climbing age 12. Climbing for me was just a really natural thing. I tried a lot of different sports when I was younger and basically anything that had a board or a ball or a stick, I was just horrible at it. But with climbing, the rock is just still and you're just moving up the wall. I don't know, it just for me it really made sense and uh, just clicked for me. Age 14, Sharma won the American Bouldering Championships and has since won bouldering competitions the world over, including the X Games and the Mammoth Championships. However, the majority of Sharma's time is spent conquering his own challenges. Competition is one way of measuring your level, but the real essence of climbing is really out here on the rock. You had to climb the world's hardest route, for example, and to be the first person to do this route. So the competition is really kind of with yourself and like whether or not you can do it. You're not competing with someone else and you're not even really competing with the rock, but you're, com you're trying to work together with the rock and work together with yourself and to, to execute this kind of choreographed dance, you know, up the wall. Sharma has conquered more of the highest rated climbs than anyone else in the world and redefined what's possible. Currently living in northeast Spain, Sharma is at the epicenter of world climbing. Oh, they don't really have a favorite place, you know, they're all just different places and they're all unique for their own reasons. For now, like where we are right now here in Santa Lina, this is a, one of my favorite spots. This one cave right here has probably the highest concentration of hard roots in the world. There's probably 30 roots here, 8C plus and harder, so you had to put that in layman's terms. It just basically means that there's a bunch of really hard roots here. To overcome the toughest rock face often takes two years to work out the line and drill in the bolts before ultimately taking on the entire challenge. So the top climbers need more than just physical strength. It's very, very physically draining. It's very gymnastic and athletic. But then also it's very psychological. It's a lot about just being able to control your mind and your mind being able to control your body, you know? There's a lot of problem solving, figuring out the different movements, um, determination, that's a really big thing in climbing, is just to be determined to, to not give up and try things over and over again until, they, until you finally find a solution. When victory finally comes, you think that all of Sharma's expectations will be fulfilled. You almost blow it up in your mind that like, if I do this route, it'll be, you know, I'll be so satisfied that I'll never have to touch rock again. I'll just be happy for the rest of my life. And then once I do finally get to the top, I'm super happy, I'm really you know, excited, but at the same time there's also this empty feeling of like, well what next? And it's kind of this up and down roller coaster of, of life that we go through. In a sport where many succumb to nagging injuries, it's rare for a climber to be at the top for a decade. But over those years, if anything, the 28 year old has just got better. Actually I do feel like I'm still improving as a climber. I'm much more aware of what I want and how to go about getting it and how to climb and use my experience on the rock for so many years. So right now it's a really exciting time for me. I feel more motivated than ever and just psyched to, to see how far I can push it. Despite conquering the highest categorized climbs possible, there's more to come from Sharma as he tries to make the impossible possible. I can actually keep climbing much harder, you know. Every time that I get to the top of a hard climb, I realize that it was within my level. So I guess I just want to Keep pushing that, you know, keep pushing that more and more. It's a never-ending process of finding new challenges and just kind of bit by bit keep increasing the difficulty and finding new, newer and harder things and just keep stepping it up a notch every time. 